Hey, what's going on YouTube? Adam C here. Thanks for watching. Uh, very recently I got in a shipment of two more boxes of new fish from Southeast Cichlids. Uh, don't forget about the promo code if you guys want to get some new fish also. I would have gotten two more boxes if I had the uh, the fish funds for it, but you know the fish budget only goes so far. No one ever gets everything that they want. But he's got a lot of good stuff in stock now at Southeast Cichlids if you guys haven't checked them out. So um, even before this shipment, I've gotten in quite a few new fish in the last two months that I have not shown you guys. I've just been kind of stashing them away, growing them out, uh, seeing what they turn into. So I do have, later this week, a full fish room walkthrough video coming that I think you guys will really enjoy. And one of the groups of fish that I'll show in that walkthrough, um, people on Instagram and local people know that I have them, but no one else really does. And I've gotten more requests to purchase those fish than I've ever gotten for a fish in the history of me breeding fish. So make sure and stay tuned later in the week for that walkthrough. But today, going to go through these new fish I got from Southeast Cichlids. They're really cool. High hopes for them. Uh, let's get into it. So we will start at the 300. Um, the two boxes of new fish are spread over three tanks currently. So we'll be looking at three different tanks uh, to look at all these new fish. Um, Again, if you guys haven't seen some of my more recent videos, this is the new uh, Kessel Tuna Sunlight I've got on here. It gives off a shimmer, really cool effect. It's on a on a remote control I've got over there. Well, a controller, not a remote, because you have to put it near the tank. But uh, I think it does a really cool job, and the fish seem to be much less stressed knowing that they have dark spaces on either end of the tank that they can go to should they want to. So I did get 11 new fish in this delivery, and four of them are in this 300. You guys already knew that I had the trout breeding group, uh, the Niagara Venture breeding group, the Linny group, has not bred yet, but essentially it's a breeding group, and then also the Heterotania group. Also has not bred, but they are in here. So one last group that I added, and these are from Southeast Cichlids, is I have four Bucochroma cerotisi yellow that I have added into this aquarium. They're the, probably the smallest fish in the tank. Uh, the male, there's the male there, about five and a half inch. He is wild. Uh, all the rest are tank raised, but that's not really important. You can see he's just starting to show color. And there are three more in here with him that I've added. Uh, they are unsexed, so hopefully they'll turn out into you know, a decent collection for breeding. Hopefully more females than males. If not, I will be selling extra males, which <laughs> those fish are always a money maker. So either way, not going to be a problem. Uh, the trout have really begun breeding heavily lately. Uh, the male being 10 inch, the females finally getting large enough to hang with them. So I'm getting some nice fry from them now. Uh, the Niagara Venter, are, they're a slow but steady breeder still. Usually once a month they'll give me a nice group. Uh, Linny nothing yet, heterotania nothing yet. And obviously these are aside, it's gonna be a it's gonna be quite a while. Like I said, he's five, five and a half. The rest in here are about four inch. I was a bit concerned about some of them getting eaten, but after keeping a close eye, it hasn't been a problem to this point. Let's move on to the other two tanks. Here is the 125. In this tank, I've got the Alonicara albino fluvescent uh, breeding group that you guys have seen plenty. Also, a few regular fluvescent females so I can have some split gene fry. And then also, I have a group of one male, two female wild cyanochromus fryeri. There is the male, obviously. And in this shipment, I also did receive two more wild females. They all look roughly the same, so I'm not sure which ones are the new ones. Not really important. But I am really excited now that that's a group of one male, five females, so I can really get a good number of fry out to market. Uh, being wild fry rye, these do have really, really nice shape. Um, the fry rye, which a lot of people call Ali mistakenly, they're one of the most notorious fish as far as people breeding them and crossbreeding them and then the whole species you know you find quite a few fish that you know become a little off color a little misshapen and you kind of lose the root of what the fish is supposed to be not that it's always a bad thing 
some of those changes like the icebergs are really cool um, but it's kind of nice to get back to like just the basic fryer eye uh, that has a really nice bullet shape nice and streamlined and get some of those high quality f1 fry back into the market uh, there are certain fish that are just they just seem to be spread around the hobby uh, incorrectly quite often and either missold or crossbred and, and not enough people realize it and this is one of those fish for sure and really over time they've be, kind of become one of my favorite African cichlids I think it's the first tap that I've ever owned was a fryer eye and these albino fluorescents are just doing incredibly well um, fry just an incredibly high demand for the fry from these guys there's another holding female The plants are from EliteCichlids.com. Uh, don't forget, also have a promo code for them for 10% off. So if you guys want custom-made plants, make sure and check them out. So here is the 75-gallon, which you guys have not seen in quite a long time. Uh, there's a lot going on in here. Um, a lot of these fish may be for sale locally, for any of you guys that are close. But I'm only going to go over the new fish that just came in from the Southeast Cichlids order. And then I'm going to go over all the rest of these fish in the full fish room walkthrough later in the week. But the new fish from this order are five more of the Buco Chromus Rhodesi Yellow. One, two, three, four, and there's the fifth one. Uh, these are close to the size of the others in the 300, but they were just small enough that I didn't feel comfortable putting them right in the 300 after quarantine. I was a little bit worried that either the trout, the heterotania, or the Niagara Venter male was just going to go right at them, either kill them just out of aggression or flat out eat them. So they'll probably spend a couple months in here and then get transferred over to the 300. Make sure and stay tuned later in the week, like I said, for that walkthrough video because there's a lot of stuff I'm going to be talking about going through. And um, it's really been a very strange but good time in the fish room lately with the stuff that's been breeding and what's been happening. It's just been very, very odd. Um, but we'll talk about that soon. Hope you guys enjoyed the walkthrough. Um, like I said, stay tuned later in the week because I'll do that you know, full fish room walkthrough and that's almost going to be like an unboxing video because I'll be showing you quite a few fish that I have here that I either haven't talked about, have never shown, or that I've been growing up in secret. So. Uh, if you guys do follow me in, on Instagram, I appreciate it. If you don't, make sure you do because I've been posting quite a bit of content on there lately. And um, those who follow me probably already know some of the fish I'll be talking about. And they probably know the main fish that I'll be talking about as far as how many requests I've got to purchase. So uh, stay tuned for that. I think you'll enjoy it. I appreciate you guys watching as always. See ya.